guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Janae McClain for those who are new here all my returning subscribers thank you so much for being here and being a part of my community if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to this video when you watch this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up because it's helped other people find my channel so let's jump right into it so on today's video i'm going to be talking about red flags yes red flags when it comes to dating so I'm not just doing this video because I googled something or I magically found something on the internet. <laughs> I'm doing this video because I have actually been in situations myself where I saw red flags and I was just kind of like, ooh, should I stay? Is this person going to change? What's going on? Oh, I could change this person. But let this be a reminder. You cannot change anybody. Only God can change people. Red flags are to protect us, not to harm us. When God shows you something, especially when you ask, believe him believe the things that god shows you a man is supposed to pursue you not confuse you so if you feel confusion in a relationship when you are dating somebody when you are in the courting stage you need to really ask god is this person for me because god i feel confused let me tell you god is not a god of confusion i don't know about you but i've been in that situation because i was once single before so i always tell people that like people are like, oh you're married you don't understand I do because I was one single and trust me I have been with some knuckleheads before and so I know what it's like to be with somebody and just question them and just kind of like wonder like are they for me are they not for me like what the heck is going on so I'm going to give you my top red flags when it comes to dating these red flags are really key for me in a lot of different areas um, when I was dating when I was courting so there are countless of other red flags we know there are probably like hundreds of thousands. <laughs> These are just my top five red flags. So let's get right into it. Number one, the first obvious red flag, he says he's not ready for a relationship. Now, if he tells you he's not ready for a relationship, believe him. Like some people want to say, oh, I'm not ready for a relationship, but I still want to have you on the side. I still want to no don't do that you are going to drain yourself mentally emotionally spiritually you do not have time for that let go that is a red flag he is not into you okay now if someone's just being up and honest like hey i'm not a real relationship i don't want to talk to you still trying to pursue them stop it stop it that is a red flag all those are red flags do not let anybody drag you along and say hey i'm not ready for a relationship but i still want to keep you on the side we still can talk we still can do this we still can do that no red flag run he's not ready and you're going to hurt yourself emotionally and you do not want to be that person you do not want to be with somebody in your head in a relationship and then they're not even thinking about you red flag number two he says he only believes in god and not jesus like this is another red flag because i've been in this situation that's why i'm saying this i was with somebody who said they only believe in god and not jesus and i feel like oh i can change that person oh i can do this you can't only god can now here's another thing because you will have some believers that obviously they do believe in jesus christ that he died for our sins that he's our lord and savior but also even with a believer you want to make sure that they have fruit just because somebody say they do believe in jesus christ does not mean they truly letting the holy spirit using them let's just be honest and so you have to look at the fruit is this person mature are they truly letting god truly use them is this person going to abuse me is this person not only not i'm not saying just physically but mentally emotionally and spiritually is this person going to bring me down spiritually so always ask god when somebody says oh yeah i'm a believer i believe in jesus christ always ask god like hmm, this person for me but not only that you will begin to see when you begin to talk to someone you will begin to see if they have fruit to show their beliefs you'll begin to see no they are the totally opposite of what i thought always watch their fruit what does their fruit say about them okay always remember that because people can say all day long they can confess out their mouth all day long what they believe what they do but if their actions did not show it i don't believe it i'm sorry like i believe in actions i believe in seeing fruit like no 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 They always talking, but never following up. I can tell you all day long that I'm gonna meet you for lunch at one o'clock, but I don't show up. And then I do it again next week. And then next week. And I'm just all talk. I'm saying, oh, I'm a good guy, I'm a good guy, I'm a good guy, I'm a treat you different. I'm different from the other ones, girl, I'm different. But my actions do not show it. What good is it if I'm only telling you, but my actions are not showing? Red flag, make sure what they are saying and their actions are matching. Listen, make sure what they're saying and their actions are matching. Red flag. 
action. Where's your fruit? Where's your fruit? Next time somebody do something and stands you up or something like that, say, where's your fruit? <laughs> okay, don't do that, but red flag. Point number three, they confuse you. You are always confused. You've been talking to this person for six months, eight months, a year, two years, and you still are confused. You don't know what you are in this person's life. You are constantly trying to figure this out. Like your ex and your friends, what am I? He's not telling me. And your ex and him, he's just throwing you off. Like, I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Red flag. You should not always be confused. Why are you always confused? Red flag. I'm going to say this again. A man of God should be pursuing you, not confusing you. You've been confused too long, sis. Red flag. Red flag. My red flag. My last point. You are always calling him and texting him first. Red flag. Why are you always calling him and texting him first? Trust me, if he wants to call you or text you, he will. I mean, you text him a hundred times already and call him a hundred times already. You're always the one indicating the relationship. You're always the one saying, hey, let's go here. Let's do that. Red flag. If he wanted to talk to you, if he wanted to text you, he would. Stop always texting him first and calling him first. Red flag. He's not that into you. He's not that into you. So those are my top five reasons. Those are my top five red flags, ladies. Don't ignore them. Don't. And like I said, there are other red flags, but do not ignore red flags. God is just here to protect us and help us and restore us and heal us and love us mm, okay no i'm done um, so i just wanted to remind you guys that i had to get to the point where i had to surrender to god i'm like okay god if i'm single for a season whatever let it be if i'm uh, i'm done i'm tired of being confused and i had a mom who taught me better and i still was trying to figure out if i could change people but after a while, I did come to my senses. I'm like, okay, no, you confused me too much. I got to go. So I want you to be like that. If you're too confused, if you're always the one pursuing, if you're always the one doing, if you don't see any fruit, if you don't see any action, red flag, leave. It's time to go. Maybe God will bring y'all back next time. Maybe he won't. But you do not have to settle for anything just to be with somebody. Do not settle for anything just to be with somebody. You are worth so much more. Your value is worth so much more. So you have to be with somebody that truly loves God with all their heart. You do because where God is taking you, you cannot afford to settle with anybody. And I'm a living witness is, I'm a living witness that once you surrender to God and truly pursue God and work on yourself and do your thing, God will bring somebody if it's meant for you at the right time. He will. God will bring somebody that will love you just like he loves you. God will bring somebody that is for you. But you have to be patient. And you have to realize, like, no, I, I can't settle here. No, I can't afford to be here. No, I cannot be in this crazy situation. Let go and let God. Truly allow God to work in your life. But also understand that you don't have to settle you know stop feeling like oh i, I want to i want to be in a relationship so bad that i'm going to settle for just anything no that stops here i want you to stop that red flags are to help you and protect you god is looking out for you he's not hindering you he's not punishing you god doesn't want you to feel like oh god i'm gonna feel lonely no you're not one thing that helped me when i was single was i had other single friends as well and we would hang out um i would stay busy but not too busy because I love just going to my apartment and just chilling out and listening to good worship music, reading my Bible and just having fun. You know, you don't have to focus so much on being married that you make it an idol that you forget to keep God first. You have like you don't want to make marriage your idol because you really will block out what God is trying to do in your life. So I wanted to make this video for you guys and just encourage you guys to trust God and keep God first and don't ignore those red flags. Red flag. That's why we're realistic. Okay, that's not why we're realistic, but it just it kind of went with it. So I just said that. But anyway, I hope this video encourages you and reminds you that God cares about you because He does give us red flags. And if we're being honest, God will always show us the red flags when we ask. But we have to stop being blinded. Open your eyes. Open your spiritual eyes. We have to stop being blinded 
to what he is showing us. So I hope you guys enjoy your day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I will be back with another video next week. Have a blessed one. Thank you.